We had to freeze the temperature for the last three days. It's going to drop to zero Fahrenheit in the next couple days. So I decided to flush the coolant on this truck. I don't know the history behind the coolant they use or what all this is. So I'm going to flush it and add a new coolant to protect the engine from breaking. The water in this bucket froze. These are three barrels full of fresh water, they solid. I ran the engine for about 30 minutes. I flushed out about two gallons of the old antifreeze and I added two new gallons. I will reflush the coolant later on. Once I finish with the bed and start working on the injector pump. I will take the radiator off and all that and flush it real good. But for now to make sure I won't crack the block of the engine, I went ahead and added two new gallons of antifreeze. I planted some evergreen trees last year. They're still young. I went ahead and covered them with hay to protect them from freezing temperature. Hopefully they won't die. As soon as the temperature rise, I will come and remove all this hay. I grabbed these bolts from my truck and I'm going to turn them into pins for my dump truck. And I thought to show you the samurai I restored recently. Hey Panda, you like the snow? Panda, you want to go inside so I could work on the pins? I originally thought to make the pin for the tailgate myself, use the inch and a quarter rod that I have. This is one inch rod, I'm just going to use it for demonstration purpose. Then get half inch or five eighth thick piece of steel, I drill it with inch and a quarter so it will fit perfectly on the pin. Then weld it at one end, install it on the hinge, take measurement, I drill one of these pin to prevent this pin from coming off, cut it to length and then chamfer it so it will fit easy. However, the best option, something you feel safe driving your truck on the highway, is to use a grade 8 bolt. This bolt over here, they have a three and a quarter inch shoulder, so they will fit perfectly on the hinge that I made. These two bolts, two nuts, and eight washer. In the video before, I used four of these to weld them on the hinge, the two parts of the hinge, to prevent them from rubbing on each other. This cost me $64. These pins over here, I bought from a tractor supply. I believe they cost about $0.40 cent a piece, so they cheap. The way I'm going to use this pin, I'm going to use washer, insert the bolt, use another washer, then this nut will go all the way. I already mark where I want to drill it. And then I will use this pin. This pin to prevent the nut from coming loose. All the load going to be on the nut. This is the best setup. In my opinion, is very safe. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to chuck this on the milling machine. 
and I'm gonna drill hole large enough for this pin to fit in it after I drill it then I will chamfer the hole with this so the pin will fit easy every time I take it off and insert it it will fit easy another thing to note before I forget I originally thought to get the inch and a quarter pin that I gonna make and machine it down before I do all the welding and all that so it will fit easy on the hinge however these bolt they not really inch and a quarter they little bit undersized inch and a quarter should read on the caliber 1.250 these over here read 1.242 so it's about 8000 undersized this is good for me because I don't have to do anything to this bolt it's gonna give me enough free space and this bolt should fit easy on the hinge and it give enough clearance for grease to be here and the tailgate to operate freely I will chuck this on the mill and I get busy with it I put the nut on the bolt and I tied it on the vise and this is how I'm locating the center of this bolt I'm using the center drill bit on the top of this nut and that should be the center of the bolt and I'm ready to drill the thread area of this bolt
I cleaned it with a brake party cleaner to remove the oil and I'm going to clean the thread with this These two pins came out great, the milling machine made the job easy to drill the hole in the center and chamfer it. Now I just need some good weather to be able to go and finish the tailgate. Once I finish with the tailgate, then I will build locking mechanism to be able to lock the tailgate. After that I am going to add chain to adjust the opening of the tailgate. If you guys like this video, please like and share and subscribe. So I know your interest in watching these videos. Thank you for watching. Be safe and I'll see you later.